It's lovely early sunshine morning. Oh, I'll tell you what, oh, I wish you could smell this because there's nothing like fresh, fresh air, fresh morning air. Well, we're going to go on a walk. Um, this is really a hunt for how many um, thatched cottages can I find on this walk? It's not going to be a massively long walk, but I'm really keen to find. Not, in this village I live in, um, there are quite a lot of thatched cottages and I was driving past one and it was having its thatch done, um, which is something I don't see, I don't see very, every day. So I thought it'd be nice to go and have a look. So let's try and count. We're going to count how many we can find whilst we do it. So that'll be interesting. Uh, yeah, let's crack on. Not a lot of traffic. That's why I thought I'd go early. It's before 8 a.m. Um, it's on a Sunday morning as well, but all the uh, hay's been stacked up. But yeah, smells lovely. And um, we should be seeing our first thatched cottage soon. If I can find any dated when they were built info online, because they tend to get, be, well, they are, will be listed. Um, I'll put it on the screen when I'm, we're kind of passing them, but discreetly. I'm sure they won't like it if they saw someone filming their house. But, you know, if you've got a beautiful house, or they do look kind of funny, don't they? The blocks of hay. I keep trying to call them wheat. i to stop doing that. They're hay. They've got to be hay. They're not wheat. <laughs> uh, you can't take London out of a girl. Because yeah, obviously I don't, I'm, you know, this, I'd, have I ever lived in a village before? No, I haven't. <laughs> it's, it's lovely. I do like it. I mean, we are literally out on the outskirts of the village. But, and it does have a community shop. Although with the community shop, I find it's quite odd. They, um, they don't put any prices on any of their products. I mean, how weird is that? <laughs> I don't, you go in and you're not sure how anything, how much stuff costs. Anyway, back in a tick. That's number one. It's absolutely beautiful. Here's my hedges. <laughs> oh dear. Another one. Oh, I can't talk. Oh, lovely. There's one a bit further down that road, and then we're going to go left. There might be another one down here, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's another one. Back and do a right. another view of the third one. Lovely. <laughs> Hello. Oh. I think they know they're being filmed. Have got an, have I got an apple? Afraid not. <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, when I'm not on a pavement, I'd follow the country cross code. Oh, the country cross code. Is that 
Country Cross or Country Code. God, blimey, I've suddenly forgotten. <sighs> but having grown up in a city, I don't know how I know it. There's a lot of traffic here, so there's going to be some passing. <sighs> We're very close to the um, A12. Uh, so even on a Sunday, it's busy. Nothing's, nothing's really as quiet as it used to be. But hey ho, I suppose it's just going to be as quiet as it's going to get. So country cross, is it the country cross code or just a country code? I've suddenly had a brain, not a fart, brain something where it's just gone, uh, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm walking on the, the side where the traffic's coming towards me anyway. Right, let's crack on. Um, it's having its thatched roof fixed or renewed, I presume, well, renewed, definitely. Bear in mind, these are probably built, what, 1600s? I don't know, maybe 1700s. Uh, I'll find out. <laughs> but I don't know where you can see the ladder. It's all tufty. Oh, and when you look right to the left, I mean, the massive hedges in the way. Um, but when you look on the left, you can see it's still being cut, that top ridged bit. Beautiful. Right, let's crack on. So we're being affected by this potentially. I hope it doesn't happen. I've signed the petition. Right, let's look for our next fashed cottage. Now that's a fine building and it's completely, well it's for sale. What do you reckon, should we go for it? Cool. That's a good dura upper isn't it? I mean, it's, I think it was a former, yeah, it was a former boarding school. God, I'd like to get into there. Oh, come on, let's go. There's another um, fast cottage just up this way. Green field and the children's play area and the community shops just over there. Um, I have been in there a couple of times, but honestly, not putting prices on your things really puts me off because I really like to know how much I'm paying before I get to the checkout. Don't like it to be a surprise. I mean, I go around the supermarket with a calculator, so you know, sure. come on, nearly there to the next one anyway. Beautiful. Oh, and there's another one. Oh my God, I forgot that it was two next to each other. Nice yellow, actually. Oh, let's go. Lovely. I have actually lost count how many we're at, but this is, I don't know how many this is, but this is another one. I think that might be Suffolk Pink. I think they used to use pig's blood to make the pink in Suffolk, but we're very close to the Suffolk border. That's beautiful, isn't it? Well, we're keeping going because there's another one just down here and then we're going to go along that road. So, yeah. I think there's two here too, too, and there may be some further down, but I'm not going to go down all that way because I think they're quite far down. Oh, 
Right, we're going back. Let's go back. Go back the way, well, we're not going back the way we came. We're kind of doing a circle past this pub. We've not been in here yet. It does look nice. There's another one. Oh, in fact, that's two. They're like semi detached. Lovely. So, we're going to do a bit of left here. It's not thatched, but it's old. Very nice. Another one? Gorgeous. And then another one. <laughs> Very pretty. Actually, I don't know if you can see the squirrel. I'll zoom in. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm, lovely. Hello. Hello. There's a good girl. Yeah. She says, go away. Stop filming. <laughs> oh, right. Well. Oh, I'm just going to pause in the shakers, actually. I'll just take a look at this field. I've, I'll just, in a way, it will help show you. I've kind of walked all around there and along there and then over that way and back down. You know what, it was quite fresh, but now I'm quite hot. Let's keep going. Wow, it rained absolute cats and dogs yesterday. A huge rain pour, rain pour, rain pour. Oh my God, look, it's early in the morning. It actually filled that water button. The one I showed you, right to the top, in that one rainfall, it was kind of only one third full. Um, masses of rain. Um, it did make me, I was thinking about how many times have I moved, and it's quite a lot. So I'm going to list off the places that I've lived. It was London, first place, Staines, Ely, Oxford, Hungerford, Gloucester. Uh, there's other places I'm trying to think. Colchester. Various places in London. Does that count? I'm not sure. I mean, I've moved a lot. Um, this has to be one of our nicest moves, I must say. If you've been, if you're still watching, thanks. I really appreciate that. Update on my foot. I did go to the doctors. They've been brilliant. My new doctors, much better than my old doctors, I must say. The old doctors were always blocking care or things that needed doing or you'd have to pay for it but these ones they were just literally I saw the doctor in the morning I had to kind of really convince her and then it turns out I've had this since 2013 it's been on the on my records which is when they start taking it seriously if I'd have come in fresh and it was just the first sign of it I reckon I wouldn't have had the help I've had but she really said look go to reception and book yourself a, a session with the physio um, and then we'll, we'll kind of line you up for steroid injections in your foot uh, so I did that and I went to the receptionist and she said oh there's a book in this today I'm like what okay so I saw the physio and he said oh you should self-refer to a podiatrist but he said uh, he gave me loads of exercises that I've been doing um, she also the doctor gave me painkillers like co-codable so I've got to be careful with the amount of times I use them only when I'm really needed um, and then I, he also said, yeah, just book for the steroid injections. Like, oh, no, I saw the doctor while I was going to see the physio. It's confusing slightly because it was quite manic that day. And uh, she said, look, just 
go to reception and tell them that you because they have to send out a request to the person that does it so I did that so I'm on the list to have the steroid injections which might take a couple of weeks I don't know so yeah pain free maybe I've also got inserts compression socks <laughs> I need a night spinter I think because the physio did say my god your plantar, fas plantar fasciitis is are very tight which is why they cause so much pain oh, right i'm gonna sign off now in the distant noise of a dog barking that's not rosy because i'm not home far from home i want to say thanks so much for watching um how many did we find i don't actually know because i can't say <laughs> oh bright light um yeah what was i gonna say Thanks so much for watching. Uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.